Hello. The cat's in the chair, so I'm on the floor. Yep. In response to POV's topic, I wanted to add really interesting point. Hopefully that will make you think a bit. Because that's, you know, something to discuss. Um, in response to everybody else, there's nothing to respond to. Everybody's gone. I'm all alone. But I still have something to say. Anthony, in a comment years ago, said something along the lines of, I want to get work done, but my brain thinks grinding Therizane rep is productive. And that's what I want to talk about. Um, playing video games. It is... It's a drug. But it's not a drug like the people in the media say. Okay, so your life sucks and you're sad, so you go drink. That makes you feel happy. You're artificially happy. You're lazy and bored, so you play a video game. That makes you feel productive. You're artificially productive. And that's what video games do. They create, they hit the same triggers in your head as getting stuff done. And that's what's great about them, because that, that feeling of getting things done is a good feeling. But the problem is, just like with drugs, it's so much easier to just play a level in a video game and go, Hey, I did something. You get the same high, and uh, you didn't actually get anything done. So, video games are evil. They make you not get things done because they make you feel like you got things done when you did. Um, that was going somewhere. I guess there's two different directions that goes. Number one, as game developers, we are very in danger from this because, of course, we're always working on games. We're always in, in a game mode, so games really pull us away from that. We're always one inch away from going, eh, you know what, I think I'll play some WoW because then I'll feel like I got stuff done even though I didn't. Hooray for me. And that's a big threat. And But the other side is, I have this thing, for years and years, I've wondered if I should be making games. I like doing it. It's definitely good. I like the end result. I'm like, hey, cool, I made a game. It's fun. It's cool. But is it good? Should I have done that? Because there's really no reason we need games. If, if no video games existed then people would still look for entertainment. But I know when I was a kid, I'd spend hours and hours drawing pictures. That was my entertainment, and it was fun. And it was productive. I ended up with a picture. My mom still has framed pictures of mine in her house, and they're lovely because they're mine. And I developed my drawing skills. You play a video game, you're developing your video game skills. That's not helping you. So, I mean, that's a thing. I wonder if I should be making games. I don't have the skills to do anything else, so whatever. And there are, there are games that are good, and maybe that's what I should be considering. It's like something like Rock Band. Not, a, not that it's teaching you music, although now new ones with the pro modes, they do. Um, but that it's getting your family together or your friends together, and you're having this social thing. It's a, it's a, it enables social stuff rather than being this alone time that you're literally just wasting time. I mean, solo gaming is literally wasting time, and so is multiplayer gaming if it's like, you know, playing with strangers in Quake. You're not getting social interaction out of that. You're just being called a fag. So, that's Quake. Um, yeah, so I don't know if games are good. But I'm going to keep making them. People keep liking them. And maybe I'll try to make ones that are have some higher purpose. I don't know what that is and I don't know how to do it. I know the kind of games I like have nothing to do with that stuff, so that makes it very difficult. But that's something to discuss if anybody were discussing anything. Bye.